Welcome back to another episode of the Smart Homie channel. I'm Ben Davies and we are back, say back, we're still here in the tiny tech home. We have replaced our Pico switch from Lutron and we are going to be looking at installing our inline Lutron dimmer onto our spotlights. So, best roll of credits, haven't we? <laughs> As you can see, I've done a lot of pre-work already. Now, as a qualified electrician, I know some of the kind of ins and outs of how or what we should be looking at when we're putting one of these dimmers in line with some spotlights. So we're looking for our first feed to the spotlights and everything's wired in series. So from the switch to the first spotlight and then out to the rest of them. So it's a case of we've got five spotlights in our lounge and what the first one is the closest to the switch. So I dropped it down and luckily the one of these two incoming cables here was identified as a feed. Now make it safe and then liven it up. It should be tested by a qualified electrician, my I add. And then you want to be obviously uh, labeling it to make sure that it says that it's the feed on it. Another tip I would say is on the dimmers themselves, on the smart dimmers, and this isn't just Lutron, this is kind of any system, is that pre-wire your cable out from your switch because it will go into the first light. Uh, saves a job that you can do down the floor, not up a ladder. Um, it can be neatly done. And then you can cable that into the light. And then once that's done, turn the power off or the power should be off and then wire the rest of your feed into the driver. So I will wire this in. We'll speed this up a little bit, I think. And then let me tell you how easy it is to install and what I find the great things are about it. Let's do it. Okay, so that's us up and running. As you can see, we have light. Um, the driver uh, to install, how can I say? So the terminals seem like a bit of a ass about face way of putting them around. So you're live and you switch live and next to each other, your neutrals are together and your uh, ERS are together, which sounds fine and sounds great, but actually when you look at it, when the two cables go in side by side, everything crosses over. So it ends up quite being quite messy. So shout out to Lutron to say, maybe that could be split up. So you have your live side in, live earth and neutral, and your switch live out, earth neutral, uh, uh, live in two separate places. So it slots in a bit easier. The other thing I would say is, and a really frustrating thing, this tiny screw here requires like a precision screwdriver because it's so small to put in. Now, if this is going to be installed by electricians and things like that, I think just something like we all use a terminal screwdriver or a certain size crosshead on every job. Make that bigger. Makes it, and then I don't have to carry a tiny screwdriver with me to fit these. But all being said, five minutes, if that, maybe three minutes to actually install and put up. So leave this down for the time being while you program it. You can with Lutron, obviously, don't you don't have to press the buttons to ID or anything or anything like that, but we will talk about it in that in the next part three. But leave it down because if you do have some issues or do have some problems, it's a pain to have to take it back down. So just get everything ID'd up, put it all back in the ceiling in one go, and then your gravy. So that's it. That's your spotlights installed on the Lutron system in line with a Lutron inline dimmer. Easy peasy. See you next time. Oh, and subscribe, because that'll be nice. Mm -hmm.